hi welcome to social research insights and in this video I am going to uh, show you how to perform the cross tabulation through PSPP uh, the PSPP is open source alternative to uh, IBM SPSS which is proprietary software and uh, PSPP e can be installed both in Windows and uh, other operating systems like Linux and Macbook uh, this is actually the part number two of my my series of presentations on doing or performing cross tabulation through PSPP. Um, this is actually the data set which I have simulated through through syntax that you can see here uh, with a couple of commands. Uh, I, I wrote a code in order to uh, simulate the data set for my experiment, I mean demonstration. And the data set is also assigned by the value labels you can see that by coming back to the the variable view and the data view we have the data view and variable view here you can see that the labels were assigned and in my previous video I have shown you how to perform the cross tabulation in PSPP and also explained what is the chi-square statistic and I am going to repeat that action because it helps you to know once again uh, as how to perform the cross tabulation in PSPP you just have to go to the main menu analyze and after that descriptive statistics and cross tabs and uh, choose your uh, the variables and the study in this case I'm just going to do a small task before going to perform the cross tabulation I'm just going to change the variable names so that it is easy to understand the analysis output I call my first variable as age and the second variable as satisfaction uh, so that now it is uh, it is very simple for me to explain the and go to analyze descriptive statistics and cross tabs uh, take uh, one variable into the rows and the other variable into the columns uh, and after that go to the format and all of them are, are ticked so we need not worry about this uh, this option in the in the cross tabs context menu and go to the statistics by default chi square is uh, highlighted but actually if you observe my data is ordinal data I should go for the other uh, measures like gamma, lambda, lambda, gamma and uh, tau even for the matter and there is another delta usually is represented cliff I it is usually regarded as cliff d uh, and the other name of d is also delta Del I, I prefer delta uh, over gamma and lambda to analyze the uh, the ordinal data but for time being I'll just uh, compromise uh, with uh, chi-square statistic because this is a general uh, generic statistic which can be used for all types of data just uh, press continue and after that go to the cells I don't want all these options uh, I, I'm just going to unselect uh, um, the, the, the most of the options I just keep count which means the actual frequencies and I also want the another uh, the, the frequencies are called expected values so I have the actual frequencies and expected frequencies and uh, which are very much necessary for me to interpret the the, the output uh, uh, generated through the cross tabulation in PSPP so press continue and after that press OK so let's go to the output uh, window where perhaps we can pick up the yes we have all these results but it is not possible for us to go through the results uh, in output window it is not uh, the interactive window as we do in uh, SPSS so what I do I just convert my the output file into a, a word file in my computer LibreOffice Suite is installed and I already have uh, the LibreOffice Word in my computer so I'm going to save this output uh, the entire output into the LibreOffice Word file so what I do I just go to the desktop and there I put uh, contingency output um, I'll go to the extension and there I'll choose the ODT you also have other you can also save in PDF format, HTML format, text format, PS postscript format, CSV format but uh, for the time being I'm just going to choose the open data format which is the default format for the LibreOffice Word and press save and then go to your uh, desktop you should be able to see that file open the file and now you'll be having all that output saved in your Word file I'll just delete all unnecessary code and also uh, uh, the very first table uh, that uh, appears as summary for my analysis that I don't want actually for this for time being 
So this is the table which I'm going to tweak further so that I just centralize the center the values. Mm. So I choose this press control E and uh, we will so since our output is available through the word file we can just start writing the interpretation under the table uh, so that later you can uh, you can uh, make a wonderful uh, article or paper scholarly paper or maybe maybe you can also make a book if you have uh, some certain amount of analysis through uh, the, uh, the, yeah, that uh, have been done uh, that that was uh, done through the PSPP. So here I can just you know start writing about the table. The above table is something blah blah blah, and after that I can come back. This the below table is so something I can start uh, the writing the interpretation of these tables just under the table. That is one uh, wonderful uh, mechanism uh, which is available through PSPP as we do it in in SPSS by saving the output uh, through Microsoft Word. Uh, file. So here, uh, the objective of this uh, video cast is to explain you the 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 log. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, likelihood ratio measure uh, and linear by linear association measure. Because I already explained the Pearson chi square measure in my previous uh, video, and this is uh, in this uh, pa part actually, I'm going to concentrate on the likelihood ratio measure. Uh, uh, you can you can see the 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 chi-square statistics uh, for all these uh, tests. Uh, in fact, actually, the Pearson chi-square statistic is obtained through the chi-square test, and the 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 log likelihood likelihood ratio um, uh, statistic is obtained through the through through a test called G-square test or uh, likelihood ratio test. And this li linear by linear association statistic is obtained through a test called linear by linear uh, association test. Okay, so right now I'm going to explain you uh, what is this li likelihood ratio test and how how this value is obtained it's, uh, in PSPP uh, together with uh, p value. Okay, so the likelihood ratio test is none is also known as the g squared test. Uh, which is very close to the chi-square test. Uh, this uh, both the g-square and uh, chi-square measures are uh, uh, are none of them same for all small uh, samples. But for um, but for if you observe here, actually there is a little bit difference between the the Carl Pearson chi-square value and the likelihood ratio value. That is because of the the sample size. For the small samples, uh, these values are more or less same. Um, and now, uh, let me explain you uh, how to uh, how PSPP does the G-square test. Uh, the G-square measure is defined as as uh, as uh, two uh, sigma for all i uh, observed frequencies y, which which stands for observed frequencies log uh, o i the ratio of OI to that of EI. EI stands for the expected frequencies. So let us go back to our table. Here we have the expected frequency and the uh, sorry, observed frequency and the expected frequency. We just have to sum up all of them by substituting in this uh, expression. For example, the very first uh, values 10, 7.5. So I'm going to substitute these values here. 2 multiplied the observed frequency 10 mm, and multiplied uh, log log this is actually box log 10 divided by the expected frequency 7.5 so this is actually the the way we compute the the first term of the uh, uh, of this expression for all these values and the second one obviously is going to be the 4 and 5.2 and the last one is going to be going to be uh, 3 and 3.5. So, so after substituting all these values, we reach to the last term where uh, the 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 substitution will be 2 multiplied 3 uh, log log 3 divided by 3.5. So this is the sum of all these terms is going to be the g square g square statistic, and which stands for likelihood ratio test and now after after we come finish this uh, calculations we find the g square measure which roughly follows 
the chi-square distribution at uh, at uh, uh, at some certain degrees of freedom uh, at uh, some certain level of uh, significance significance okay so this uh, th th these two values are very very important in order to compute the the p value for for likelihood ratio test and uh, let me explain you how this uh, degrees of freedom is going to uh, going to be computed for this g square test or likelihood ratio test the degrees of freedom uh, as since i said that g square roughly follows uh, the chi square distribution chi square uh, statistic i mean the chi square distribution so the degrees of freedom the method uh, for computing degrees of freedom uh, is the same to that of computing the 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 chi square uh, test so for chi square test we are going to compute the degrees of freedom as uh, number of rows minus one multiplied number of columns minus one okay, so the product of the number of rows minus one to that of number of columns minus one and in this case we have uh, four rows and four columns so four minus one and uh, and uh, four minus one uh, for columns and now the result is going to be three multiplied three which is going to be nine let's go back and check our value so this is uh, oh sorry i'm sorry actually we have the five rows and five columns so the the formula the the method of computing the the degrees of freedom is rather going to be uh, rather going to be the degrees of freedom is going to be uh, five number of rows minus one uh, to that of number of columns uh, to that of one I mean the product of the number of rows minus one uh, and the uh, the number of rows uh, uh, minus uh, number of columns minus one which is going to be four multiplied by four and it's going to be sixteen so this is what you we observe the the degrees of freedom here and now uh, at this degrees of freedom uh, our chi square value uh, we use the chi square value th this degrees of freedom and at 5% significance level 2 tile p value is going to be 0.35 and even if we take 1 by 2 that's going to be uh, greater than 0 0.05 so obviously we don't have sufficient evidence through our data set in support of uh, uh, we don't have sufficient evidence in support of alternative hypothesis and we are we are actually accepting the null hypothesis that the satisfaction does not depend on age in other words, age does not help us to understand the satisfaction. So this is how the likelihood ratio measure can be interpreted uh, in uh, in cross tabulation through PSPP. In my next video, I'm going to explain you how to interpret the linear by linear association. Thank you.